Hello everyone, so I will discuss prompt engineering now, which is a way for you to control the results without actively training the model again and again. So it's like you're learning the language of the AI model. There's a few ways of going about this. One is manipulating the actual words themselves, be it putting them in a negative prompt. So something like this, putting the words here. So if I don't want bushes in my scene, I'll try to put bush. And there's also um, waiting, which is if I want to say the sunset, but I want that sunset to be really, really prominent, I can add open and close parentheses on that specific word and it will give more emphasis to that specific word. It will try to follow that prompt more compared to the other prompts that you mentioned. But I want to discuss a particularly important one, which is using other AI models like ChatGPT and other la large language models to kind of iterate on the ideas that you already have. So I'll open ChatGPT over here on a new tab. And what I will do is paste this prompt, which is give me 20 keywords. And my concept is, and you can put anything in there. So I'll put what I already have, which is post-apocalyptic wasteland over here. Copy that, put it over here. Then now it will start generating some keywords that you can use to your prompt. And some of them might not be what you want, but it's okay. It's more of like the iterative process that we're looking for. We want to branch out and seek specific ideas that resonate with us and resonate with the brief that we're given. So for example, here it mentioned Mad Max. Mad Max has that really orange sunset vibe. So I can definitely use that and put it on my prompts or I can just, you know, use everything here and let's see if that you know, kind of improves what we already have, which is here. There's definitely a big change. It became more high contrast. And if that's something you're looking for, then of course, by all means, iterate on this more. I'll also change the height. So the generated image will be a more like a landscape since we're doing a landscape concept art, maybe something like 320. And there it definitely changed the vibe. Um, the other one has a character. Now this one is more about objects and more about the environment. So it definitely changed the tone and the purpose of the image. So make sure you change the width and height depending on what you're looking for. But anyway, those are just the keywords. You can generate, you know, other keywords and see if that resonate with you. But the other technique that I'm about to show you is the one that I personally like using which is, let's go back here, which is asking an origin story or a background story of the specific concept or brief that you're given. So still thinking about the post-apocalyptic wasteland, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to make up three possible background and or origin stories for a post-apocalyptic wasteland. And here it will generate some more fleshed out story elements, which is something that we as like concept artists or concept designers really look into when you're designing an environment or a character, you're always looking for a way to tell the story of like the history of that character or their origin or where they came from, their ethnicity and all that is something that a lot of untapped potential with interesting designs come up. And here ChatGPT mentioned that um, it could be from nuclear war or an an environmental disaster or a pandemic, which I haven't really thought about because all of the post-apocalyptic elements that we're kind of familiar with are, you know, from Fallout or Mad Max, where it's all like a barren wasteland, but a post-apocalyptic world can also look like um, something from Left 4 Dead or something related to zombies. And things like that. So that's something that I haven't thought about, which is really, really helpful in kind of refining what story that I want to tell with this concept art. If that doesn't resonate with you, you can always just generate more and kind of look for ideas that inspire you, that resonate with the brief, then implement that on the prompt. And, you know, you can kind of 
make this into keywords as well, like adding pandemic to the end of wasteland apocalypse, then generate keywords from there as well. You know, you can do these two techniques um, interchangeably depending on what stage you're in. So it's definitely flexible. But since I'm just um, doing a demonstration, I'll just copy this entire thing and let's see if it creates something interesting. Now, okay, so the generations aren't that good. I think it's because, you know, these aren't something that you kind of give to stable diffusion. It's more effective if you use actual keywords, then comma, then another keyword instead of an actual story. Some people do that. Um, they kind of add a narrative inside the prompt, but it's more recommended if you use keywords, maybe just ask ChatGPT to create keywords regarding a pandemic instead of using the actual narrative itself and putting it in the prompt box. Another thing to note, is some models aren't particularly great at having really, really complex prompts. Some are great if you just put, you know, two to five words. And some are really great if they have prompts longer than, you know, 10 words. You just need to check whether your model behaves like that. And if you're looking for other ways to engineer your prompts, you can just look at what others do. For example, here in Lexica, they have lots of um, generated art, all with their prompts available for you to copy and see how they do it. For example, here, they mentioned hyper detailed, intricately detailed Gothic art. And they also mentioned the specific color combinations that they want in the piece. So you can copy that concept of, oh, I want this to be a complementary or I want this to be a triadic color palette and put that in your prompt. So this is a really great resource for prompt engineering in general. And with that, I think that's about it. Um, this has gone long enough. On the next video, I'll talk about more on photo bashing and using image to image to really refine um, the concepts that you made or the sketches that you have. I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.